If you keep disobeying me, the next thing you know, you'll be scrubbing toilets before the day is done. <laughs> Come to think of it, that ain't a bad idea. Bring your toothbrush tomorrow. Excuse me. You're Renee Jackson, aren't you? Don't talk to her, Renee. But I can talk to her. I'm Darlene Matheson. The black students in school would like to invite you to a meeting we're having. Black? You deaf or something? Keep your yap shut! It's what we call ourselves now. It has to do with pride. The meeting is after school in the cafeteria. Will we see you there? She's busy, Darlene. Move on. I'll catch you later, Renee. What happened to colored? I'm not sure. It has something to do with pride. That fat cow made me ruin my dress. She did not. It just busted because you took it off too fast. How come you're sticking up for her? I'm sticking up for you. Besides, all this hazing stuff will be over in a week anyway. You like my hair like this? How come you're turning into a girl all of a sudden? Well, seeing all those girls, they made me think. I can still look nice and not be girly. You think this makes me look older? I think you're crazy is what I think. You actually seem to be having fun. Oh, I'm having a blast. You'll have fun too, once you get used to it. I'll never get used to it, Emmy, because I'm never going back. You have to go back. They wouldn't make me do this stuff if I wasn't colored. They're making me do the same stuff. You mark my word. Today is the last day you're ever going to see me in that stupid school. Renee, give it one more day. For me. All right, one more day. But just because you're my friend. Oh, honey, thank you for helping me do this. Hey, what are friends for? Okay, you call this 800 number using line two. I've got the TDD plugged into line one. Now remember, when you make a connection, I can't talk to you because I'm supposed to be deaf. Got it? And why is it that you need to know how to work this thing? Because I'm taking it into court as evidence. I don't want to look like an idiot. Oh. All right, here we go. This is Alabama Relay for the deaf. May I help you? Yes, you can. I would like to place a call to a deaf friend of mine. Are they equipped to receive the call? Yes, they are. And this is their number, 802-555-0176. Who may I say is calling? Mary Elizabeth. You sound cute. Thank you. Miss Jackson's on the line. Go ahead. Oh, OK. Uh, hey, girlfriend, what's up? Is that it? Yeah. Then please say GA when you're finished. It means go ahead. Hey, girlfriend, what's up? GA. How are the kids? Emmett is driving Kelly crazy. G.A. <laughs> and Collier? I'm afraid we've gone from lovers to friends. We hardly talk anymore. And when we do, it's empty and flat. I'm scared, Renee. I don't know what to do. G.A.? Yeah. I'll be right over. Miss Jackson has terminated the call. Thank you for using Alabama Relay. You just need to get some of that romance back, that's all. We've been married 28 years, Renee. All we talk about is the kids. If we don't talk about the kids, we don't really talk. What you used to do that was fun that didn't involve the kids? We used to go to the Blue Goose Friday nights after he finished work. It was like a date, you know, I'd get a babysitter, have a couple of beers and a burger, go to a movie. It was heaven. Blue Goose still around? Oh, yeah. After they drop the bomb, there'll only be three things left, the cockroaches, the Blue Goose, and Cher. <laughs> you call Collier right now. Make a date. Except you're not allowed to talk about a Johnny, Kelly, Davis, or Emmett. Got it? Got it. Here's a picture of Emmett recognizing me for the first time. Now, notice in this one that he smiles more than in all the others. Show me the next one. <laughs> and this, oh. Oh, now there he is, laid out on the little quilt his grandma made for him. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, 
Four goosenecks? I'll be right with you. Chris, you finally brought in pictures of your baby. Oh, adorable, adorable, adorable. He looks just like you. Carolyn, mm -hmm. this ain't my baby. Actually, he's ours. You adopted. How brave. No, he's our daughter's son. She gave birth to him. Oh. I'm sorry. That's all right. It happens all the time. Which is only natural, what with them all looking alike and all. <laughs> got her. <laughs> you two got to come around more often, man. All right. Hey, let's chug a lug if we're going to make this movie. I can't remember when the last time I went to the theater to see a movie. I'm really looking forward to a trash bag of popcorn. Mm -mm. There goes the movie. <sighs> what if we didn't call back? Well, she 911. That's for emergency only. Last time she 911, it was because she thought his booger was a tumor. <laughs> what? <laughs> movie? <sighs> movie. Vulcan if they ever get him up again. Do you realize that this will be the first time since I've been back to Birmingham that my office wasn't brown? What's the matter with brown? Nothing, except you couldn't tell I was in the office unless I smiled. Well, paint it white. 